Well, these gaming streets are a buzz because of the PlayStation 5 Pro. It's time to sound the alarm. Okay, guys, let's do a super tornado siren. <laughs> Yes, so these PlayStation fans are in their glee, they are happy, they are moving in a type of way because guess what, the PlayStation 5 Pro apparently is a beast, it's a monster, and a matter of fact it's a bum! <laughs> I mean who could blame Sony, who could blame Sony fans? After them seeing Hellblade 2 images that recently came out, they are basically saying yes, we need a PlayStation 5 Pro. Because the type of images that the Xbox Series X is pumping out, it is unreal, it is unheard of when it is we look at a Hellblade 2. So yes, these PlayStation fans are getting besides themselves, look at the tweets that they are tweeting. They are tweeting that Xbox games will run better on the PlayStation 5 Pro. They are saying Xbox game Xbox could never do this. They are saying that PlayStation would have the, the most powerful console out. Now the PlayStation community is convinced that the recent leaked documents by Moore's Law is 100% real. It's 100% confirmed. It is 100% a uh, done deal that the PlayStation 5 Pro has these exact specs. Now, what we will do is examine how history could sometimes repeat itself and how at least learn from history. Don't, you know, see what happened in history and then repeat like, the exact same thing that happened. So today we are going to talk about all the rumors, all the cap and all the facts. So. Let's get it! This is a sickness! Let's get it! So today's video is brought to you by the Let's Get It podcast. This is a podcast that I would be doing every Sunday. In this podcast, we will be recapping the week's stories. We will be talking about rumors. We will be also talking about what's happening in the gaming industry. In addition to that, um, I will also be looking for some moderators, some moderators to keep the chat clean, to keep the, the chat moving. You know, I'm always um, encouraged to, you know, I have no problem with back and forth. I have no problem with smack talk. Once it is, we keep it clean. So that will be happening. I'll be appointing some moderators uh, for the channel. Um, so look up, you might be a moderator. Now, if you want to support the channel, um, I'm building a rig. You can support by sending uh, something to my PayPal. If you don't have anything to send to my PayPal, just you liking and subscribing is enough uh, for me. So thanks so much for those who would have uh, assisted thus far and um let's get back to the video so yes the playstation uh, rumors the playstation 5 pro rumors uh, has reached a boiling point and it has some of the playstation community to have some of the ponies behaving like if they are on okay crack something is wrong with you people what the hell has this world come to so let's see what all the hoopla is about let's listen to moore's law and then we will look at the um, Gaming Informer article. So this video is taken from Moore's Law, his YouTube channel. So let's listen up and see what he says about this PlayStation 5 Pro. Now I want to talk about the PlayStation 5 Pro and the specs that I have documentation proving, including the name of Sony's DLSS competitor, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. All right. So the PlayStation 5 Pro, the product this channel exclusively leaked three years ago, would be launching by the end of 2024, despite so many people telling me I was crazy for suggesting that. So apparently he leaked the PlayStation 5 Pro was coming out three years ago. And it appears that he himself is a leaker. So it's either he is a leaker or he have some powerful leaking friends. So let's see exactly what he's saying about this here. Today, let's just get straight into the info. And remember that before I put this on screen, 
I have shifted around pixels, changed coloring a little bit, and redacted a lot of the documents that will be on screen to protect my sources. So if a couple things look like a little bit of an odd resolution or a little bit of an odd color, yep, that's intentional to protect my sources so that I can keep making great videos for this channel. But anyways, let's get to the first document on screen now. And yeah, it shows Trinity is the codename for the PlayStation 5 Pro that has been leaked many times in the past before. And it says that the raw rendering performance is 45% faster than the base PS5. So it appears that the code name for the new PlayStation 5 Pro is Trinity. Trinity! Help! So according to him, it's 45% faster, the rendering that is. 45% faster than the base PlayStation 5. If that is true, that is almost half um, more powerful than the PlayStation 5, which would mean um, faster rendering when it comes to maps and when it comes to characters and so forth. Although ray tracing is described as being two to four times faster, which if it does pan out is nuts. And it cannot just be from using RDNA 3 as RDNA 3 enhancements that AMD has claimed have always been around 1.5 to 1.8 X better than RDNA 2. And this is much higher than that, which on the surface, this means that the PlayStation 5 Pro could theoretically run some sections twice as fast as the PS5 if the bottleneck for performance in that scene was ray tracing. And frankly, I think this has massive implications for how much better RDNA 4 or at least RDNA 5 might be at ray tracing than RDNA 2 and 3. But anyways, in this same document, there's also confirmation of a powerful custom machine learning architecture capable of 300 tops of 8-bit computation that will be used for PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution or PSSR for short. And if we go to the second page, he also mentioned that ray tracing would be two to four times better on the PlayStation 5 Pro than on the standard PlayStation 5. If that is true, that would be insane. Now, what we also saw is that um, PlayStation is coming up with their own secret source, as it were, which is the PSSR. That would be their uh, deep sampling um, system uh, to compete with DLSS. Now, we know what DLSS is. Um, it is what the video used to upscale their games, give you higher frame rates and so forth. So PlayStation is coming out with their own version. Now, would it be better than the video's um, own? Well, really, we'll have to wait and see. We see mention of that 300 tops number again, which I do have to just say here as an aside, the fact that even console companies are bragging about how they're using tops for their performance in games tells you that those stats that I recently leaked that are underwhelming for Arrow Lake in terms of tops performance, they matter, even to, to gamers. I've seen some people in the comments recently saying tops don't matter, stop over hyping this for AMD. Even a console company is bragging about how they're gonna use tops to enhance gaming. It matters. And the companies that are sleeping on AI performance are just sleeping on the future. But anyways, going back to this document here, it also confirms 67 teraflops, baby. Now, I do have to be clear that this is 67 teraflops of FP16. The teraflops number that Xbox fanboys wouldn't shut up about was 12 teraflops of FP32. So cut this in half to get to 33.5 teraflops almost certainly. But even that, even that is 2.8 times the teraflops of the Xbox Series X. And it's going to be very interesting to see if Sony markets that heavily for revenge. But I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. For some strange reason, this guy songs like a PlayStation fanboy. He songs like a pony. I'm getting, I'm getting some hoofed shenanigans in his tone. But nonetheless, we are seeing that if this is true, the PlayStation 5 Pro would have 33.5 teraflops. That is insane. That is power to run a nuclear plant. What? That's a lot of power, guys. But let's listen on. Moving on, I also find it interesting that right now they plan to apparently use PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution for 4K and eventually 8K. Now, eventually, it doesn't support it right away. What this tells you is that this technology, PSSR, is not something that Sony sees as something that will be one and done, like checkerboarding, and then they just let it go. This is something they're clearly going to iterate on, update, and they have 
future roadmaps for how they're going to improve it for the PlayStation 5 Pro, and then assumedly future other PlayStation products as well, making this something that may become a unique selling point for PlayStation gaming devices, just like Nvidia has been marketing DLSS and new versions of DLSS for multiple generations as well. Now. Also, if you look on this document here, it says it supports dynamic input resolutions, which is very exciting in my opinion, because that means Sony can patch a game with dynamic res, which many current gen console games use dynamic resolution, and then they can just enhance the output resolution as it goes up and down, meaning that if frame rates are going to drop, you can still adjust down the base resolution, but still upscale a better output resolution than what the base PS5 can do right now. And hey, no per game training is needed, unlike what DLSS used to require, but it will eat up a bit of Sony's VRAM budget. So that's going to be interesting to see how devs account for a little bit of that 16 gigabytes needing to be used for this. But anyways, if we get to the third document, Sony directly says that PSSR looks better than FSR 2 or 3 in image quality, really. And unfortunately, you do need to remember, though, that... I so yes, Mark, Sony, and the PlayStation team, they are basically boasting that they... Uh, PlayStation SSR or their PSSR is better than FSR. Now, this is a big boast here from Mark Cerny and the team. Would it come true? Is this PSSR better than FSR 3? We'll have to wait and see. But this, in a nutshell, was what the Sony fans were basically hyping up for this past few days that the playstation 5 pro is going to shut down every single thing but let me remind these playstation fans that history is something else you need to look back in history and you need not to be this gullible when it comes to certain rumors let's look at an article that was written about four to five years ago about the playstation 5 leaked specs listen up more alleged PlayStation 5 specs leaked, supposedly 13.3 teraflops of GPU power and a 1 terabyte SSD this time around for the PS5. More alleged technical specifications for the PlayStation 5 have been shared online, and if they are anywhere close to factual then there will be plenty of happy PS5 fans out there. According to the supposed leaked details, the next general console will feature a custom RDNA 2 based GPU that will offer 13.3 teraflops of compute performance. Since Microsoft revealed that the Xbox Series 10 will boast of 12 teraflops of GPU compute performance, many gamers have been hoping that the PlayStation 5 will be able to compete directly or at least close to its main rival in regard to this particular specification. However, a new leak has suggested that Sony's device won't just equal the Microsoft competition, but it will actually exceed it. Apparently, the PS5 will come with a 13.3 teraflop capable custom RDNA 2 GPU at 1.7 GHz with 60 compute units. Now, before PlayStation supporters get carried away and start heckling future Xbox Series 10 buyers with this 12 teraflop beating performance, the source of this information is hardly the most reliable, 4 channel. So as usual, it's time to take the salt out of the cupboard and pinch away. But regardless of the source, potential PS5 specs are always interesting to share if they have some sort of viability. Along with the RDNA 2 GPU and its 13.3 teraflops of power, the new details state that the PS5 will come with an 8-core AMD Zen 2 CPU at 3.4 GHz, although the post says that Sony wants to push the clock rate to 3.7 GHz. There is 16GB GDDR6 plus 4GB DDR4 for RAM, a 1TB SSD at 5.5GB per second, dedicated ray tracing and 3D audio cores, 565GB per second bandwidth, and backwards compatibility digital. The DualShock 5 controller will have the already reported biofeedback functions and there will be a PlayStation AI assistant to help gamers get the most out of their PS5. It all sounds too good to be true, so it is likely supposition repackaged as, leaked information. For instance, the original poster states a price of US$499, which seems too low, especially if this ends up being the PS5, Pro, model. Of course, Sony might be willing to take a hit in terms of profit margins for the PS5's release, still coming holiday 2020. The details also state that PS Vita games, handheld, would also be made available on the next general console, which has raised some eyebrows. 
Lastly, the 4channel post claimed there would be an announcement on March 3rd and there wasn't. With a bit of luck, Sony will soon give fans the information they have been clamoring for. <laughs> so back then, ponies believed that the PlayStation 5 would have been 13 teraflops, surpassing what the Xbox Series X had. Now, the reason why I'm comparing this 4chan leak compared to what the industry best is saying today concerning the PlayStation 5 Pro is because PlayStation fans would believe anything once it is a one-up on Microsoft, once it is a one-up um, on the Series X. And because of that, they are very gullible to believe anything. Now, this turned out not to be true. This turned out to be completely false. Yes, would you guys believe a hundred percent what is being said here by Moore's Law um, is dead? Or would you guys learn from history and not believe everything a hundred percent? We'll have to wait and see. But for the Xbox community, we are confident that the next Xbox console will be exactly what Cerebon says. We have more creators right now building for Xbox than ever before thousands. by nature, yeah. thousands of them by nature of those investments. And we got more to come. There's some exciting stuff coming out in hardware that we're going to share this holiday. And we're also invested in the next generation roadmap. And what we're really focused on there is delivering the largest technical leap you will have ever seen in a hardware generation. Yes, so let me hear what you think about everything that was said concerning the PlayStation 5 Pro and about if you believe that everything that uh, was discussed uh, from the um, from Moore's Law is Dead and from the PlayStation fans, if you believe everything is 100% true, let me know in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.